Hi there. This presentation is on ranked choice voting and how you can use it to win any political conversation. Politics is annoying. We have a two-party system that's broken. Most of the candidates that we're getting are not popular. It makes a lot of our political conversations to be on subjects that are aggravating and partisan. So we have this situation where a lot of people just don't even want to talk about politics. This is where ranked choice voting comes in. It provides multiple choices for who you're voting for. So you select your favorite candidate, and then you can select your second favorite candidate and third from there. And you don't need to vote for someone you don't want. This is a really important fix to the voting system because you can now actually vote for who you want. And your st vote will still count because if the person that you want doesn't get enough votes, your vote transfers to your second pick. And there are tons of benefits to ranked choice voting beyond just having the ability to select multiple people. It changes the way the political conversation happens because right now you can only have one Democrat and one Republican. Anything else doesn't work. And what that means is that they can stack the deck so that the two choices are you're just doing the lesser of two evils and also takes away the strategic voting that's that's so annoying in our system and allows third parties to be involved and it saves money you might be thinking wow this sounds like a great solution who's gonna pay for it well you know what it costs less so with that extra money we can throw a party about how great things are going there's a bunch of benefits like that are aren't even expected like increased diversity so more voter participation, exit polls, people talk about feeling like their voice is more heard, people are more empowered. The candidates themselves are much more positive as opposed to the attack ads that we're getting today. Bring up ranked choice voting in any conversation, especially the ones that you find annoying. Instead of just backing down, go up to their level of crazy. I mean, if, if they go conspiracy theory on you, then bring out the over-enthusiastic ranked choice voting solution for everything and fixing the democracy. Um, and you'll see that even if you have completely different world views on how the world works, you can come to an agreement on this topic. And when you do that and you stand across from somebody who believes something totally bizarre and they agree with you that ranked choice voting will help, then you've just won that conversation. And so Get out there and bring this up, and particularly in annoying conversations with people you disagree with. Um, you might just find that you can win that conversation and help save democracy in the process.